This is a Figma prototype using color variables. In this video, we'll walk through how to create color variables and use them for prototyping a gift card balance for this kiosk. Color variables let you store color values that you can use throughout your design. Combining them with conditional logic can help you add more taste to your states. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. This is the last video of a four-part series covering variables and prototypes. You can get a link to the last video at the end of this one. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to follow along. We're picking back up where we left off in the last video. I've updated the kiosk menu with some UI to keep track of a gift card balance down here in the bottom right. For the sake of this tutorial, let's just pretend that customers had a way to add their gift card balance to the kiosk. We just want to keep track of that balance with variables. First, let's create a color variable for the background of our balance box. With nothing selected, move over to the top right and click on the Local Variables heading. This will open our Variables dialog. Now let's create a new collection and call it Gift Card. Next, click the Create Variable button and select Color from the menu. We'll rename this variable to Balance-BG and set its value to the hex color of the purple. From inside the color picker, click the dropper tool and select the purple color or enter the value AF5CF7. Now we can close the variables dialog. To apply this variable to the fill of the rectangle, select it. In the fill section of the right panel, we'll click this little four dot icon and choose our new color variable. Just like with other variables, the value will turn into a little chip to indicate a variable is in use. Now we'll set up the initial gift card balance. Let's open the variables dialog again. Click to create a new variable and select number. Let's name it gift card total and set the value to 42. Close the variables dialog. Next, we need to assign this variable to our text node in the gift card area. Click the zero and head over to the text section of the right panel. Just like in our last videos, click the variables cog icon and choose our new variable number. Our zero changed to 42, nice. Now it's time to build some logic to make our balance update as we add items to the order. Change into prototype mode, we need to update our interactions for each of the menu cards. Select the beef card and open the interaction menu in the upper right. Click the plus icon in the upper right corner of this menu, select set variable, choose our gift card total variable, then we want to pick our gift card total variable again and subtract the beef price. Let's preview what we have so far. Select our kiosk frame and press shift spacebar. You can see that our balance goes down, but it can go below zero and our total shouldn't go up until our gift card balance runs out. To fix that, we're going to need a Michelin star recipe. We're going to create a few more variables. First, let's create a new number variable and name it final-cost, setting its value to zero. Now create another number variable named gift card-balance and set its value to our gift card total variable. You can click the variable icon on the right of the cell and pick it from the list. Now close the variable dialog and select our balance price. Change the variable assignment to our new gift card balance variable. Select our total price and change its variable to final cost. This will let us do some math to make these numbers accurate. Select the beef card and switch into prototype mode. Open the interaction menu. Remove the gift card interaction we set up a second ago. Add a new set variable interaction. Let's select our gift card balance variable and then set it to gift card total minus prices total. This will keep our balance accurate. Now add a new conditional interaction. In our if section, we want to test whether or not gift card balance is less than zero. When it is, we'll set our final cost variable to the gift card balance times negative one to make it a positive number. This will start adding to our order total only when we run out of money on the gift card. Let's preview that real quick. It works but we don't want our gift card balance to go below zero. We need more logic. In the interaction menu, add another conditional interaction. This time we'll test whether or not our gift card balance is less than or equal to zero. When it is, let's set our gift card balance value to zero. Test this again. When we add sandwiches to our order, the balance will never go below zero. But what if we want to change the UI to make that a little more obvious for customers? One last time, Let's go back into the interaction menu, add another conditional interaction. Once again, we'll check whether or not our gift card balance variable is less than or equal to zero. When it is, we want to take our balance BG variable and change the hex value to BD271B. 
Click the play button in the upper right to preview our prototype one last time. We can add beef sandos to our order, and our balance background turns red when we hit zero. Our order total reflects the cost correctly. To finish this, we would need to update this logic for each sandwich card, and also update some logic for when we remove sandwiches from the order. But since you've learned so much about variables and prototypes now, you can go finish the recipe. And that's how you use color variables and prototypes. I hope this Figma Byte helps you add some pop to your prototypes. Thanks for watching.